Yo, it's me, your boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to do a uh, One Piece discussion on the latest chapter of One Piece, chapter 1058. So let's get straight into this video. So I'm just going to go more in depth with the uh, chapter and give you my thoughts and, uh, you know, go over the chapter again and just, uh, you know, do some, th I mean, I guess some theories that I have and that I've seen around on the internet and, all, and stuff like that. And, you know, just go over the chapter sort of more in depth and, you know, see how everyone's reactions have been to the chapter. Um, for this chapter, I've seen a lot of reactions that are very good, um, uh, unlike last week's chapter where everyone's reaction wasn't so very good um, <laughs> it's, um, to the end of Wano, so yeah, so this chapter is a lot better and um, when it comes to like people's reactions and people's like feeling about the chapter, so yeah, so let's get into the uh, chapter, so um, the cover page, we get to see, uh, you know, Caesar Clown, he is, uh, you know, protecting the Germa, and he threw up a smoke screen, and he's like, can, um, you know, um, can I, you know, I want to help you guys, can you please help me, um, I'll help you, you help me, and we can get out of here, so yeah, so, um, Caesar's gonna go with the Germa, and he may meet up with, like, Judge, or something like that, and, um, and he might be, he might work with Judge or something like that, um, who knows, but, uh, um, the, um, the cover page is really interesting, and I really like, uh, you know, the Germa, uh, you know, cover page, and I want to see where it goes next, so yeah, so, uh, let's, uh, first talk about, uh, the bounties, uh, for the Straw Hats, so the bounties for the Straw Hats, are uh, they're, um, I think, uh, the scans, uh, I think they only got one of them wrong, I think the only one they got wrong was Zoro's bounty, um, uh, I think everyone else was correct, so, uh, Chopper's bounty is, uh, a 1,000 berries, 1,000 berries, which, like, Chopper, like, I, I don't really care when it comes to, like, uh, I've not really cared about Chopper's bounty, honestly, because <laughs> it's been a gag bounty, honestly, and it's been, like, eh, like, whenever you see Chopper's bounty, it's, like, whatever, like, he's the pet of the Straw Hats, they don't take him seriously, or anything like that, and it's just, like, um, they must know about Monster Point, they must know about Monster Point, and they must know that he, you know, um, uh, you know, sc um, had a scuff with the, uh, um, with Queen, and, you know, slapped him and everything like that, um, I feel like Chopper's bounty, um, should be higher, but it's a gag, so I understand why Chopper's bounty isn't, uh, higher than it should be, um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever, it's Chopper's bounty, it's alright, whatever, cool, um, so yeah, and then Nami's bounty, Nami's bounty is, uh, 30, um, um, 3, hundred and sixty six million so uh she has the lowest bounty in the straw hat crew except for like choppers but his is a gag bounty so nami has the lowest bounty in the uh, straw hats and like nami that's fine i honestly think nami's bounty is fine um because um you know and she, uh, you know, she didn't really do that very much when it comes to, like, um, Wano in, uh, in terms of, like, feats. Like, she didn't really defeat anyone. Yeah, she did defeat Ulti, and, uh, but that was with Big Mom's help, if I remember correctly, yeah. But, like, you know, Nami having a three, um, 366 million berry bounty, that's okay, I like it, um, you know, she's, um, worth more than, uh, the, uh, supernovas are, um, when they were at, at Saba Odi, so that's pretty cool, and, uh, yeah, and then we got Brooke, Brooke's bounty is, uh, 383 million, uh, Brooke's bounty, honestly, I think it should be higher, because, uh, Brooke, honestly, I think he is strong, um, I think he's stronger than, uh, Frankie, and, like, Robin, and, um, and I think he, I, I don't know, Frankie, um, Frankie and Brooke are, like, around the same sort of power level, but I like to say <coughs> that, uh, um, that Brooke is stronger than Frankie, honestly, and I do think that, um, Brooke should be, uh, maybe higher, I don't know, but, like, I do think, I, um, I like his bounty, it's alright, but I do think it should be higher, because he is a little bit stronger than, um, most of the, uh, you know, p um, 
you know, uh, he's stronger than Frankie, um, he's stronger than Usopp, he's stronger than, um, you know, uh, Robin, maybe, um, but, uh, I don't know, like, he, I feel like he should be a lot, you know, um, higher, you know, so, yeah, but, uh, then we go to, fr um, Frankie, so Frankie's bounty is, uh, 394 million, and, um, and Frankie, Frankie got screwed over. It is just the, uh, Sunny, um, it's just the, uh, you know, the picture of a Sunny, and it was based on that little, uh, you know, sketch that Oda did of, you know, when, uh, if, um, you know, the Straw Hats, when they were older, and it's like in the bad universe, um, where Frankie became a ship. Uh, so yeah. So, honestly, Frankie, I think that he should be maybe higher? I don't know. I feel like Frankie should be a little bit higher as well. He should be in, like, the 400s or the 500s. Same with Brooke. I think he should be in the 400s to 500s um, because, you know, they're very pow um, they're very powerful, you know, um, people on the, uh, in the crew. Um, you know, they're not the most powerful, but they are pretty, you know, they can hold their own against, you know, um, you know pretty powerful, you know, opponents. So, you know, and... Um, and Frankie defeated Sasaki, and I don't remember what Sasaki's bounty was, but it was a lot higher, like, it was, like, a, I think it was, like, in the 400s, I think, I can't remember what it was, but it was, like, in the 400s, I think, um, but, uh, yeah, he should be a lot higher if he defeated Sasaki, and he, um, and, you know, Frankie, he didn't get any, like, he didn't, any, he didn't get any, like, power-ups or anything, and it seems like he was, like, he just beat, um, Sasaki, like, on his own, like, he didn't have any help or anything like that, and now he did use the Frankie Shogun, so I guess that, um, um, I guess that might be the reason, but, eh, like, yeah, it's like, um, but he still feed, uh, defeated Sasaki, and I feel like he should be higher, so yeah, but Frankie, and uh, Frankie's bounty is alright, you know, so yeah. So moving on to uh, Usopp's bounty. Usopp's bounty is five hundred million. That is crazy. Like that is so crazy um, for you know Usopp's bounty. Like holy shit. Like um, for Usopp, I really hope uh, where we're going next is Elbath, obviously. Um, and um, I really hope. Uh, that Usopp gets a power-up um, in Elbath, like he, um, to show that 500 million berry bounty increase, because I feel like Usopp didn't do really anything in, um, in the raid on Onigashima, he didn't fight anyone of, uh, you know, notoriety, and I feel like he needs to be um, stronger, I guess, yeah, I really wish that, you know, Usopp was stronger, and I want to see him have a power-up in the, uh, next arc, and see how far he can, uh, really, um, sort of go, and, uh, if he, and if he can, if he can live up to the name God Usopp, and also that 500 million berry bounty increase, so yeah, so, I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, Usopp sort of arc in Elbaf, and if he can, if he's gonna get, like, a power-up, or something like that, but, uh, yeah, but, uh, Usopp's bounty is really good, it is the same bounty that, uh, Luffy had, uh, when he was in, uh, Dressrosa, so, yeah, so that's really cool. So then we get to the big dogs of the uh, crew. So Robin's bounty is 930 million. That is crazy. She jumped so high from her previous bounty. I can't remember what her previous bounty was. It was like, like 100, uh, 130 million or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but uh, it's now like 930 million. That is crazy. Um, I honestly think that Robin. Robin should be higher because, um, you know, I feel like she should at least be in the billions because, like, she has the knowledge to, you know, unlock the ancient weapons and, uh, you know, and she knows where, like, Pluton is and she, you know, as, I mean, she can read the Ploneglyphs and she's from O'Hara and she's read, like, three of the, you know, Rio Ploneglyphs and if they get one more, they know where the One Piece is. So, I feel like the government should be really, like, you know, trying their best to get their hands on Robin and they have been, but I feel like um, her bounty should be at least a billion um, because um, they should recognize, like, oh, 
yeah, she um she obviously can read the poneglyphs and that she um and she can you know she's read all you know three of the real poneglyphs and she knows where Pluton is and she knows where some of the other um you know ancient weapons are and she knows about them so she should be way higher and she be and she should be way more of a threat to the world government and they should be like you know um get on Robin now like you know <laughs> so yeah so um but you know nine hundred and uh, thirty million is really good it does show that the government is like you know give um you know is recognizing her you know threat level i guess but uh yeah then we go to uh the three like <laughs> sanji's bounty like oh man <laughs> sanji got done dirty honestly and uh yeah i think he should have been higher um but uh um but he's lower than jimby so <laughs> but yeah but um, bl um sanji's bounty is uh 1 billion and 32 million so um, that bounty is good, like, don't get me wrong, it is really good, but, <laughs> like, he, like, Odo really did him dirty, and, um, if you see on the Wanda poster, his, like, picture has sort of maybe gone back to the sketch of his, uh, old Wanda poster, and it's, uh, and it's removed, uh, Vin Smoke, so he's happy, he should be happy about that, but being underneath Jimby, ooh, <laughs> like, you know, Odo, man, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But then, uh, Jimby's bounty is, uh, one billion, uh, no, one, uh, yeah, one billion, uh, one hundred million. So, yeah, so that's a pretty good bounty for, uh, Jimby. I like, uh, you know, Jimby's bounty, and I like him, you know, sort of vibing with the crew. Um, you know, this is this uh, sort of his first time with the, uh, you know, with the crew on the Sunny. Uh, he, um, we know, we've you know, we've known Jimby since, like, Impel Down, but, like, he hasn't actually been with the Straw Hats until now, and him sort of vibing with the crew and everything like that, and him getting a higher bounty than Sanji, that is, uh, yeah, um, Jimby's coming on to the crew with some big, like, you know, big talk, so, yeah, <laughs> so, um, so Jimby, I like his bounty, and I'm just, I just like how he's sort of vibing with the crew and everything like that, so, yeah. Then we got uh, Zora's bounty. Zora's bounty is the one that the uh, scans, uh, you know, screwed up. Uh, his bounty is one billion one hundred mil, um, one hundred and eleven million. I think that's how you say it. Yeah. So, <coughs> <coughs> so honestly, Zoro's bounty. It's good, like, um, it's, uh, it's based on his, uh, birthday, same with, uh, Sanji's, um, you know, bounty, and, um, you know, I really like, uh, Zoro's bounty, I think it's great, I don't think it needs to be higher, or, um, it shouldn't be lower, um, but, uh, yeah, I really do like, um, all their bounties, um, but I feel like when it comes to, like, uh, Brooke and, you know, Frankie's bounty, I th I think they should be, uh, higher, so yeah. So, that's the bounties for the, uh, Straw Hats, and, uh, and we already know Luffy's bounty is, uh, 3 billion, so yeah. Then we go on to the, uh, next part of the, uh, chapter, which is the Cross Guild stuff. So, let's get into the Cross Guild stuff. So, Cross, the Cross Guild, uh, was formed by Crocodile. He was the one who formed the Cross Guild, um, killed. It wasn't Buggy who came up with this idea. It was Crocodile, and he seeked out Mihawk, um, who is now not a warlord. He is just a regular old pirate, and, uh, Crocodile said, oh, your warlord status has been taken away why don't you team up with me and uh we'll be a force to be reckoned with and we'll make a new company so yeah so he seeked out mihawk and he was going to uh you know make an alliance with mihawk and so yeah then uh uh crocodile went to uh buggy's island and uh wanted to collect some money from buggy and he, um, and Buggy couldn't, you know, pay, for, I mean, he couldn't pay it, so he's like, oh, um, you know, why don't you just take my island, why don't you take all of my people, my island, and, you know, I'm in Buggy's delivery service, and use it for your, um, for your new organization, the Cross Guild, and, uh, Crocodile was like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take your island, I'll take your people, and, uh, so, yeah, so he, um, now he is, like, sort of the, I guess the, the true leader of the, uh, Cross Guild, and, uh, then, um, 
Buggy's men uh, shipped out all the flyers and made Buggy the head of the Cross Guild and, uh, you know, and made the government sort of like, you know, think that he was the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> the leader of the Cross Guild and he had Mihawk and also Crocodile underneath his wing. And, it was, and uh, Mihawk and Crocodile were not happy about that. They were not happy. So, yeah. So, um, but then Mihawk says, oh, why don't we just take... Um, why don't we let him take the fall for this, and he be the emperor, and um, and we can work in the shadows as the um, as the leaders of the Cross Guild, and he takes all the heat for this. So yeah. So that kind of make I guess makes sense, but it's uh it's um it's I mean it makes sense, but I also I didn't expect that from uh, Mihawk. So uh, yeah. So. Um, then we get a bit of a backstory for uh, how the cross guild was sort of formed. Uh, you know, uh, Crocodile coming to save Buggy. Buggy couldn't pay the money, so Crocodile took over his uh, delivery service and named it the Cross Guild. And uh, yeah, and uh, then we get uh, Crocodile's bounty. Uh, Crocodile's bounty is one billion nine hundred and sixty-five million. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, one billion nine hundred and sixty-five million. Yeah. So Crocodile's bounty has shot up a lot since his, uh, you know, frozen bounty, uh, you know, which was like, I think it was like 81 million or something like that. And honestly, I feel like Crocodile should have a power up as well. <clears throat> because honestly, he um, he should have at least maybe Haki or Awaken His Delphi or something like that. I feel like Crocodile needs a power up when it comes to him getting that high of a bounty. Um... So yeah, I feel like he needs a, a, a either hockey, um, you know, sensory hockey or armored hockey because in the shading it looks like he was using armored hockey on the sand, but I think that's just shading. I don't really know, but I think it's just a shading. But yeah, but I feel like he should have hockey at this particular point in time if he's in the new world. Everyone's using ha um, you know, hockey in the new world. Um, most of the people who are in the new world are using hockey. And if Crocodile doesn't have hockey, it's like, eh. But if he awakens his Delphurt, that would be okay as well. So, yeah. And then we got Mihawk. Mihawk's bounty is wow. Like, it's just wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Mihawk's bounty is million. Yeah, three billion uh, and fifty nine million. So yeah, that is a big bounty, and uh, and I also want to talk about the uh, this part where uh, I think it's brand new. The guy who announces the uh, bounties, and he says he has better sword skill than Red Hair Shanks. Now this. Um, got everyone in a tissy on Twitter saying that, oh, Mihawk is better than Shanks, or, you know, Shanks is better than Mihawk, and, um, and, you know, and they were sort of clashing who's better, like, you know, who's stronger, Mihawk or Shanks, and that's the title of this video, um, you know, v Mihawk versus Shanks, and honestly, I do want to see, you know, uh, back in the day when Shanks and Mihawk fought, I want to see, you know, that battle, um, and who came on top, and, uh, I feel like, um, uh, Mihawk lost interest in Shanks when he, uh, lost his arm, um, and he, and his sword skill was, uh, around the same level as, uh, Mihawk's, uh, you know, skill, so, honestly, I feel like Shanks, um, is probably stronger than Mihawk, but Mihawk is definitely, uh, in that level, in that realm of, of like you know really powerful individuals in the one piece world where he, they can take on like admirals and maybe yonko um i will, i don't want to know i don't want to say that um mihawk is yonko level but but uh he definitely is uh you know um 
they're definitely uh, putting him on a pedestal like he could maybe take on the Yonko and maybe like you know scrap with the uh, with the best of the best like Big Mom or Kaido um, he's definitely stronger than Luffy I, I want to say he's definitely stronger than Luffy I don't know about Blackbeard but we haven't really seen Blackbeard just yet I really hope in the next uh, in the chapter or you know soon um, we get to see where Blackbeard is and uh, uh, you know, his sort of power level or what he's doing in the world. And I, and I, um, and I feel like Mihawk is around that level where he is, I want to say he's higher than the Admirals, maybe, but I, I want to say he's around the Admirals sort of like strength. Um, he might be at Yonko level, but we just don't know just yet. We haven't really seen that power uh, from uh, Mihawk to put him in that sort of, you know, uh, in that spectrum yet. So I'm going to say that he might be at Yonko level um, because he, they do say that he has better sword skill than Red Hair Shanks. So maybe, but I don't really know. So it, he could be at Yonko level, he might not be, but if Shanks and Mihawk did fight again, I would put, I probably put my, you know, chips on, uh, you know, Shanks, obviously, so yeah, but, uh, but I would really like to see back in the day when, uh, Shanks and Mihawk fought, I would really like to see those, uh, you know, daily fights, so yeah, uh, moving on from, uh, that, uh, I really, um, uh, Buggy's bounty. Uh, Buggy's bounty is uh, th uh, three billion one hundred and eighty-nine million. So yeah. So Buggy's bounty um, is fine for him. I really like that bounty for him. Um, he's higher than uh, Luffy, which I thought he was going to be. Um, I didn't think he was going to be the highest bounty or anything like that. Um, I feel like that is a good sort of a, in a place for Buggy. He's higher than Luffy, um, but. Uh, um, I really want to know what is uh, now Blackbeard's bounty because, you know, Buggy is higher than Blackbeard's bounty. Um, but I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, Blackbeard's bounty is going to go up and he's probably going to be higher than Buggy and Luffy's going to be the lowest, uh, you know, um, Yonko bounty and uh, Shanks is going to be on the uh, top. So, yeah. So I really hope that we um, that um, that is the case uh, where you know Blackbeard moves up and Shanks uh, maybe moves up as well and Buggy is sort of in the um, um, is higher than Luffy and um, I like that sort of uh, you know Yonko um, the the Yonko's bounty so yeah and how they're sort of set, I mean set up and um, you know. Buggy having a three billion um, berry bounty um, is really cool. I like that, and uh, yeah, and him being the um, the um, the supposed leader of the uh, of the Cross Guild, and it's actually Mihawk and Crocodile who are the actual two leaders of the Cross Guild um, is actually really good. So yeah. And then Buggy addresses his crew, saying that we're going after the Marines, and I really. I really want to know, um, you know, um, if they're going to go after, like, you know, the Admirals and see if, uh, you know, um, the Cross Guild, you know, versus the Admirals. That'd be pretty cool. Um, if, uh, you know, they're going to, you know, fight the Admirals or the fight the uh, Marines. Uh, I'd really like to see, uh, you know, um, the bounties for the Marines. Uh, you know, uh, who's, who's got the highest bounty in the Marines. Probably the Admirals and maybe the Fleet Admiral. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes with the bounties for the Marines. I want to know if we're going to see that, but who knows. Then, uh, that is pretty much all the Cross Guild stuff. I don't think there's anything else. I've talked about how the Cross Guild was formed, how, you know, Crocodile, you know, seeked out Mihawk, uh, how Buggy couldn't pay the money. So, uh, me, uh, um, so uh, you know, Crocodile took over his island, and now Buggy is, like, the supposed leader of the Cross Guild and uh, and their bounties. Yeah, I think that's everything um, involving the Cross Guild that I need to talk about. So yeah, and then we get to the end of the uh, chapter uh, with the Revolutionary Army and uh, the Revolutionary Army, uh, Morley, uh, Morley, Karasu, uh, Bello Betty, and Limburg uh, um, look all fine. They look all fine, uh, but uh, Bello Betty wasn't there at the Marijua, um when they were fighting the two admirals. It was Karasu, Morley, and also Limburg, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, 
Sabo, Sabo, yeah. I almost forgot Sabo's name for some reason, yeah. Um, Sabo um, was there as well. And they look fine. They don't look like they had um, those, you know, any big injuries or anything like that. Um, and they seem like they're good uh, and they seem like they're clean so that's uh that's good and uh, but that's not very good for the admirals like uh Akainu, your boys have been kind of slipping uh you know green bull uh shat his pants um at this uh, not even at the sight of like you know shanks it was just a you know um hockey skype call <laughs> and, then, and then he shat his pants and uh and um and it was green bull and also fuji Toro who took on the revolution army commanders and Sabo and they don't have any big injuries and Fujitora was you know bandaged up so <laughs> they're not looking too good the admirals honestly so yeah they're not looking too good um so yeah and then uh we get to see uh dragon and he's talking about how Sabo um uh if um, Sabo is just fine, but if he truly did kill Cobra, um, there will be a reckoning between me and him. So, uh, you know, Dragon's not happy with uh, Sabo if he killed uh, Co um, with, um, you know, Cobra, uh, Vivi's dad. And honestly, I don't really think that uh, you know, Cobra's dead, honestly. Um, I feel like uh, Sabo is with Vivi and also Cobra. Uh, they got away. I just don't um, maybe he might have killed, uh, you know, um, Cobra, but I just don't see, uh, you know, um, you know, Sabo killing, uh, you know, Cobra, I just don't see it, um, Cobra might be dead, I, I'm, I'm not ruling out that, uh, Cobra is definitely either dead, or he is locked up somewhere, um, and I feel like it would be the Gorosei who did that, so, yeah, so, honestly, I don't know, like, I don't know when it comes to Sabo, if he killed Cobra or anything like that, um, he's probably with Vivi, I, um, I guarantee you he's with Vivi, I don't see that being, um, you know, um, the case, um, him killing Cobra, um, but I don't think, like, uh, you know, Dragon would have any problem with, uh, you know, Sabo, and, uh, and, and he's probably gonna tell, uh, you know, um, all the information to Dragon, uh, um, in the next chapter, because Sabo com uh, comes on the Den, Den Mushi, and the the uh, Marines are trying to wiretap it and, uh, you know, listen in. And uh, the Dendenbushi says, it's me, Sabo. And, you know, Koala picks up the uh, Dendenbushi. And so, yeah. So, honestly, I'm probably going to... I'm, I'm assuming that uh, we're going to see... Uh, um, you know, Sabo next chapter, and we're gonna find out where he is, what is he doing, and he's probably with Vivi, and maybe Cobra, Cobra might be dead, who knows, but I definitely think that he's with Vivi, and he's probably br bringing Vivi back to, uh, in the Revolutionary Army where they are right now, and coming back to Kingdom, so yeah, so I think that's where uh, Sabo is heading to with maybe Vivi and they escaped from Marijua and they're probably going to tell all the, uh, you know, revolutionary army, you know, people about what happened at the, uh, you know, reverie and, you know, what was the, uh, you know, what, um, happened to Cobra, what happened to the other kings and queens, and what happened to the Gorosei, maybe we we'll might, might find out who Eam is, um, we might see Eam, who knows, but yeah, I, I feel like it's going to be, um, you know, the Revolutionary Army part, um, we're going to see a lot more about that in the next chapter, and uh, and we also see, uh, um, you know, Kuma, and he is, uh, you know, sitting, um, he's sitting, and a dragon goes over towards him, and says, uh, you know, tell me everything you know and everything you saw at the Holy Land and uh, you know Kuma says uh, you know um, I am um, you know give me an order uh, I am um, you know you are my master <laughs> as like a robot sort of voice and uh, you know uh, Kuma's probably going to tell him all about what happened in Marijua, how he became a slave, and who he is, and everything like that. They probably already know who he is, obviously, but, uh, um, but they're probably going to, they probably want information about the Holy Land, and the, maybe the Gorosei, and the drag, and the Celestial Dragons, so yeah. 
So, um, we might see Vegapunk very soon, hopefully. I really hope that we see Vegapunk very soon. Um, and he, um, you know, he might be with the, with the Revolutionary Army. And that's how they reprogrammed, uh, you know, uh, Kuma to, uh, you know, follow, um, Dragon's orders, maybe. Uh, they might have reprogram uh, reprogrammed him somewhere, um, some other way who knows or maybe uh you know dragon is a celestial dragon so that's the reason why kuma is obeying his orders because he was um you know he was programmed to follow the celestial dragon's orders so dragon might be a celestial dragon and that might be leading into maybe luffy's mom um um you know dragon's backstory I really want Dragon's backstory and how, you know, Luffy came to be, who is Luffy's mom, um, why, um, why, why is Dragon a revolutionary army, like, why did he form that, uh, you know, what is going on with Dragon, I really want to know his backstory, and I, it, are we going to get Dragon's backstory? Maybe, who knows, but I really wish that we could get Dragon's backstory and, uh, you know, um, if he was a celestial dragon and, um, you know, and Luffy's mom was a celestial dragon and, uh, you know, and that's, um, and he defected from the celestial dragons and, uh, and that's the reason why he formed the revolutionary army to get rid of the celestial dragons. Um, because, you know, they're in power and they're greedy with power and they're using slaves and, you know, and they need to be, you know, um, and uh, they need to not be in power, so that's the reason why you know dragons formed the celestial. I mean, the the revolutionary army. Um, honestly, I would really like to see you know dragons backstory and maybe his bounty. Um, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get you know dragons bounty soon, hopefully, and uh, we're gonna see maybe uh, the Gorosei and maybe Eam, and we're probably gonna see who uh, you know Sabo is with. I'm pretty sure Sabo is with Vivi and maybe Cobra. But I'm pretty sure Cobra is uh, dead. So yeah. But uh, that is pretty much everything I wanted to talk about when it came to the uh, chapter and sort of my uh, theories and my predictions for maybe the next chapter. Uh, we are on break uh, this week, so we won't get another chapter, uh, you know, until next week. Um, not this week, but next week. So yeah. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next week's chapter. We might get us things about Sabo, uh, the the Revolutionary Army. Uh, you know, hopefully Dragon's bounty, maybe Dragon's you know, backstory. But I won't hold my breath. Uh, but uh. Um, but now we are away from Wano, and we are finally sailing ahead, and we're finally going to uh, New Islands. Uh, we're probably going to go maybe to uh, you know Elbath or you know Th um, Finks Island, uh, where Marco is, uh, where you know um, Whitebeard's territory. Who knows? But I am really excited to see where we're going to go next, and we're out of uh, Wano. So yeah. Anyways, this is your boy, Shonen Boy, signing out. You know, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Uh, what did you think about this chapter? Did you like this chapter? Did you dislike this chapter? And uh, what are your theories, um, you know, with the Revolutionary Army? Uh, you know, um, do you like the Cross Guild and how it was formed? And what do you think their next move is going to be? And what do you think about the, uh, you know, the... The straw hat bounties. Do you think they should be higher? Um, you know, um, what's your sort of, uh, you know, um, um, your bounty sort of predictions for the, uh, you know, the straw hats? And do you, uh, and um, did they meet your expectations? So yeah. And uh, what do you think is going to happen next chapter? Uh, put that in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. And have an awesome day.